Comment Comment nous allons faire de minuit You and your snakes. You leave my babies alone, do you understand? Did you call for me? Yes. I've got a job. Find Speedy for me. Something to do with the race cars again. Yes. I need a fast car. Where do I get Speedy? You know he hangs around with the gambling joints. Okay, boss man. This is the man. Dan Moore. He's our number one suspect. I'll get him, Kendall. And that's a promise. Still a uh, uh, picture of a guy, but you, you already got uh, got one. I need evidence, and if I've known who bring the whole graveyard, I'd have borrowed someone else's car. Oh, uh, but the uh, hell, Joe! I I told you he's for uh, a friend. He's got a uh, a funeral parlor. Anyway, why didn't you bring your own car? Why? Bring me to it. A poor man with his six 
Six children. Seven. Liar. to someone in the car. Got it. Matebula, over and out. Let's go. You won't get away with this. You shut up. That's him. Let's go. racing car. You're wasting your time. Why don't you give up? You shut up. Follow my gum! man said. Now what's going on around here? Now who are you? Now I don't understand this. What's going on here, Joe Bullet? What's there to understand? He's a good lookout. Joe, tell me it's not true. 
I know you. You're not a cheap crook. No way. He's very expensive. Joe, we've worked together. So, the great Joe Bullet. Is someone in the box, Sarge? Whoever you are, get out of there. They stole his bus. He had nothing to do with it. Is it true what he says? They stole your bus? Okay, let's go. Percy Shabalala, this court finds you guilty. I can find no extenuating circumstances. You are sentenced to five years hard labor. Percy Sabalala in the bank robbery. May I please call my first witness, Sergeant Matabula from the CID police. Do you swear to tell the proof, the whole proof, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. I do. Sergeant, when you arrested the accused, where was he? He was in the car with a man that was shot dead and one Percy Shabalala. The stolen money was on the accused's lap. <coughs> Did the accused deny that he had been involved in the robbery? No, Your Worship. Did you ask Percy Tsabalala as to whether he had been involved? Yes, Your Worship. That's a dead lie, and he knows it. Keep quiet. If you behave this way again, I'll find you guilty of contempt of court. Mr. Prosecutor, please proceed. Sergeant, what did Slavalala say? He said the accused was the gay's lookout. Thank you, Sergeant. Your Worship, I have no further questions. Your Worship, I'd like to mention that the accused has been such great help in the, with the police in the past. And I don't believe that... I object, Your Worship. Sergeant, the court is only interested in the facts of this case. You may go. Joe Bullitt, you have heard all the evidence against you. Is there anything you wish to say? Or is there anyone you wish to call on your behalf? Your Worship, I am innocent. I was forced into the car. I am not guilty. There must be a mistake. I swear I am telling the truth. Joe Bullitt, this court finds you guilty of the charges brought against you. But we must consider certain facts. You did not threaten anyone, and you have no past record. In fact, I find it strange that a man of your caliber should sing so low. However, I must accept the evidence before me. I have no option but to sentence you to two years' hard labor. Oh. Oh. Sit down. Sit 
love children. How's our friend Percy? They gave him five years. But, but Snake, there's something wrong. What do you mean there's something wrong? There was another guy who was helping Percy. They gave him two years. I didn't know he was in on it. Another guy? What's his name? Joe Bullet. What? Joe Bullet! What was the bastard doing there? I told you he was accused of helping Percy. The judge gave him two years. Joe Bullet in prison? I can't believe it. He must be into the cops. They wouldn't do that. There's something wrong. I don't trust him. Isn't he a private eye or something? <laughs> I smell a rat. They won't catch me. Joe Bullet is up to something. I don't know what. You can find out where they're taking them to. I want Percy out. How you get him out, I don't care. What about Bullet? I want him too. We're going to have a lot of fun with Mr. Bullet Chili. A lot of fun. <laughs> Where's the pass out? Who am I in the pan? Joe Bullet. So then, you come and have a Joe Bullet. Yeah, who got your young and being over? Yeah, this is an assault. If I'm man, was. It's a cool limpa, I have a cool cover, I have Six and a half. He blew it. Six. So far, I'm going to up. Please, I'm back. I'm going to go What have we got here? <laughs> you got smokes? I don't smoke. You heard that? You don't smoke? <laughs> you must be a quack or something. What's up, Doc? Killed one of your patients? Hmm? As a matter of fact, I'm actually innocent. Innocent? Don't go boom, man. I'm the only innocent around. I'll prove it in court. Of course, we do believe you, Angel Face.
you're making fun out of me. No way, man. God already did that when he gave you that face. You're making fun out of me. You talk too much. Watch it, bully boy. Watch it. I'll never forget you. Wait. Turn up! Turn up! Watch it. I won't forget you. Watch it. I can't make you out, man. I got you into trouble, yet you helped me. And sure as hell, you don't owe me anything.
Tell me what's in it. What? What are you talking about? Come on, man. I saw you. Listen, man, I don't know what you're talking about. Hello, Sullivan. Hey, I can't help it if it's your name. It's your parents' fault, not mine. I killed them. I believe you. I believe you. And I'll kill you too. You'll have to kill me first. And stay away from him. Watch out, Bullet. You just watch out. I will. What's up, man? Why do you do these things? You know how you nothing? I got you into here, remember? No, you didn't. But you can help me get out. There's no way in which I figure you out. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about that note in your pocket. Not so now. Shut up. Percy, I'm in here for personal reasons. And it's time for me to get out. You wanted to be in jail. Why? I just told you. It's personal. But don't worry about it. Hey, you think I'm a fool or something? Listen, you want to get out, and I also want to get out. So, let us help each other. Trust me, man. No way. I don't trust anybody. You're making a mistake. Let me worry about that. Trust me. Listen, man. You want to get out of here? Doc, I'm listening. something that I don't. Now, Foxy, yes. I want you to tell me something. What's going on? What's going on, damn it? Now, I believe in Joe. You have the files that you asked for, Sergeant? Thank you, then. You may go. Thank you. A cop? Yes, that's Dan Novo. He's one of my best men. Do you know him? I I think I saw him somewhere. Anyway, that's not important. I take it you'll be visiting Joe. Tell him that I haven't forgotten. 
It's important, Foxy. Please, tell him that. Uh, I'll do it. Talk to me. Snake sent in a letter. They are taking me out tomorrow. And you are coming with. This snake. Did you say that? The note said that. I'm not the boss, man. Stop asking me any questions. Just be ready. Tomorrow at nine. They are coming in by air. Sounds dangerous. I try. You fool. You idiot. I could have taken care of it myself. But thanks to you, we'll have to wait. They're expecting something now. You want me to finish him off? Oh, no, 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 no. Not now. We might need him. I, 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 I tried, Snake. But Percy fell down and the guard pulled the cannon. You sure coward. One guard with a gun and you run. Speedy. I want you to go to the Wajra prison. We'll be moving in soon. Sweet, I'm ready when you are. Now, I want Joe Bullet. Do you understand? I want Joe Bullet. I want him. Do you understand?
as sloppy as ever. Remind me to buy you a shirt and a tie next time. <laughs> you know, I thought uh, they would never let me see you. Hey, uh, tell me, what, what happened? Pessy and me were bad boys. They locked us up for a few days. Say, is everything okay at home? The surgeon called, called me in. I think he suspects something. I thought he would. My tabula is no fool. Just stay away from him. It is for his own good. Listen. I want you to prepare a fast. Do you know the dead road near the river? Oh, you mean that? Not so loud. Yeah. In a week's time, I want you to wait for us there. He's just waiting for the right time. It could take months. Besides, I don't like your boss scheme. Look at that chopper. Now, that was stupid. My plan is simple and straightforward. That's why it will work. Suppose it doesn't. Listen, I don't want to be locked up again. I hate that little room. I kept doing them of snakes. If you're scared, just say so. I've had it with this place. I just want to go, man. If you don't want, you can just stay. No way. I could use a Chico too, man. Then be ready. We're moving the door. I don't trust him. He's a bad bastard. You don't trust anybody. But we need a big and strong guy. Damn right. That's how I stay alive. Anyway, you said something about a car. We are having a champion racing driver in our organization. So tell the man on your side to contact him for the getaway. Then I'm in. Sure. But tell me everything about him. And I'll pass it on to our connection. Right. I'm in. You are supposed to help, but you are never here. And whenever I do see you, it's just money, money, money. Uh, cool down, my friend. Ah, la, la. She is uh, lovely. Yes, Sissy is the fastest car on the road. Of course, uh, I never take her over 50. Never. I like my car. By the way, how, how is uh, Auntie Sarah? Oh, she's dying. Mm. She, she a better hurry, you know. Otherwise, I, I sell that coffin. I cannot have money lying around. Oh. Her, her daughter phoned yesterday, and uh, she, she said she wants to see her coffin before she dies. Mm. What? Hey. Why? She has seen that coffin a dozen times. Oh, you know, 
Ah, Auntie Sarah. Oh, suppose she wants to see her coffin before she dies. <laughs> well, I suppose it's uh, business. <laughs> Did you say when? First thing uh, to tomorrow morning. Mm. Oh, damn! Why tomorrow morning? You know I have to attend the undertaker's meeting. I will do it for you. Really? You mean you don't mind? Hey, wait, wait a minute. I've given you enough money. You understand? You mean I can do a favor? You mean it? You don't want any money? <laughs> <laughs> Next. Well, thanks. <laughs> I really have to be at that meeting. Uh, I told you, I'm your friend. Okay, Foxy. Mm -hmm. Take my car, but please uh, drive carefully. Be careful of sharp bends. Uh. And don't spit and kill my gearbox. You understand? Yes, 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 yes. I promise you, my friend. Hey! Bad news for you, Bullet. I've had you in the cowboy and on kitchen duty tomorrow. Hey, I'm no kitchen boy. I bet that was your idea. You're just trying to get back at Joe. You want me to report you? You would, wouldn't you now? No way, big guy. Old Selden's a softy at heart. He loved his parents to death. You should have known that. Tomorrow morning at five. You two just be here. Or else I'll do some talking to the big man. Now move! I've got some work to do. Come on. He did that well. I still don't trust him. You just have to. The kitchen is our only way, man. all that no way you just do as you told it's the last time you shunt me around outside i'm boss just remember that we'll see Kabul. we'll see hey we're in this together so just stop it the truck is coming we'll have to move
I thought Joe Bullard had more sense than that. Now he's in real trouble. Yes, Captain. I know Pezzi's filed back to front. I don't think he'll hang around. He's from up north. That's open country, sir. Yes, sir. I think they'll make a run for it. No, sir. I don't think roadblocks will help. There are hundreds of roads up there. And believe me, Joe's nobody's fool. I don't think roadblocks will stop him. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, sir. Bye, sir. So Joe Bullet managed to get out, Sergeant. And he's not alone. Percy Shabalala and Selwyn something went with him. Damn it. Now the captain wants to put up roadblocks. Somebody might get hurt, Sergeant. That's if they catch him. Never underestimate Joe Bullet. Never. Don't tell me that you still have respect for Joe Bullet, Sergeant. He was once a good man, and I can't forget that. Then, get me a packet of gums. Uh, get me two. Sure. My mouth is lonely. Sure thing, Sergeant.
It's Tang. Quick. Let me fix the snake. Snake. Pessy and uh, Bullet are out. Yes. I'll let you know if we find them. Right. Yes. Damn it, let's get out of here. Hold it. It looks deserted. Could be a trap. I wonder if there are people inside. He worried about people. There could be food inside. Okay, you too. Check the house. We'll take the out buildings. Me, now what? Me, I'm gonna get us a call. You kidding? A kind of a wilderness. Come on. Can I help you with something? 
Sure. Don't you think so, cowboy? Yes, you could be right. And since the lady's offering... What's your name, doll? Patience. 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 Now that's what I have in God. Is there a phone around here? No. You're lying. I like that. I like you too. Let me go! You pig, you animal! You leave the girl alone. Understand? Don't spoil my fun. You watch it, big bully. You watch it now. Let's see you do it again. Come on, Joe. Let's see you do it again. Damn it. We haven't got time. We've got things to do. Leave the girl alone. We've got to get out of here. You fool. She could get your phone. He's right. We need the phone. You've got to help us. Help you? You should be in jail. Oh, come on, Joe. Let's just go. She knows what we are. Forget it. I say we kill her. Shut up, brother, you. There'll be no killing. But we can't let her go. Unless you want to get back to jail. He's right. You could take us to your phone. No. Listen. We'll phone and someone will come. You'll be free, I promise you. Why should I believe you? You've got no choice. I don't believe I'm hearing this, Sam. I just can't believe I'm hearing it. Be the big guys actually begging their little girl. Damn it, Joe. We haven't got all day. Yes, damn it. The cops could be waiting outside right now. Let's go and be quick about it. You're just like them. Animals. The lot of you. We haven't got enough time. I'm not going to help you. Do you live alone? Yes. You're lying. It's my father's house. He's gone to town. That's better. When is he coming back? Tomorrow. We'll be gone by then. Maybe. Maybe not. Listen, cowboy, I'm not hanging around here. This is trouble. Don't worry. We not stay. Check other rooms. I told you, I live alone. There's no harm in checking, doll. I've got to keep an eye on you. Where would I go? I haven't got a car. The nearest house is miles away. I know, but... You Get know. out! Listen, I'm not on their side. I'm a private investigator. I'm working on a... Get out! You think I believe you? You're just up to your tricks again. I couldn't tell you. It's important that they think I'm on their side. No. The big guy wants the little girl for himself. Ha! Sorry to break it up. There's a car coming. You thought I was kidding? Who is she? Don't worry about her. What are you doing here? I want my cash. Don't be stupid. They could have followed you. Followed me or not, I need my money badly. Okay. Come back at three o'clock. I'll pay you.
Mr. Bullet. You, Rocky. I should have known. It's been a long time. <laughs> I'm going to have my revenge now. You'll never get away with it. Shut up. We'll see. Take Bullet and the girl to the shaft. Come on, let's move. Let's move. Tied him up. Hey, what are you doing there? There's no need for this. <laughs> now, now, now I've got a little present for Mr. Bullet. Speedy, take the big one out. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Bullet. What's your name? Selwyn. I could use a big strong man like you. Would you like to join me? Sure. Why not? If the bread is good. Don't worry. I'll look after you.
Please don't leave me, Joe. Don't worry. I'll be back. I'll come for you. Trust me. Have you got here? Thank you. 
It's all over. It's all over now. Joe, what happened? Well, Colonel, we've made it. I've done it. Joe, you owe me an explanation. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry we had to do it this way. A special investigation knew that Dan was taking bribes, but they needed proof. That's why the Colonel couldn't tell you guys, because some of you may be working with Dan. So I asked Joe. You see, I trailed Dan to Ponte. Then the robbery happened. When Percy told you that I was on their side, I had to play it along, because I wanted him to lead me to the person who was being bribed. You went to prison for that? The Colonel didn't like the idea, but he knew a crooked cop is nothing compared to the big fish paying the bribes. You've got to get the man at the top. And we've got him. And Joe, we're gonna get your case reopened and clear your name. You really had me worried. No. Uh, I'm worried too. What about uh, my sissy? Who? I don't know of any sissy. My sissy? My cow? No, Joe. My cow is sissy. Don't worry. We'll get your sissy. That I promise. 